Welcome back everyone for our second week of classes. Um, it is past Easter, but I'll wish you a happy belated Easter. And today we're going to use the alphabet of Happy Easter to do our workout. We have letters that we're going to use for exercises, and we have our vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y are our vowels. And yes, today Y is going to be our cardio vowel. So you'll have... Okay, so the equipment you need for today is a mat for the floor. You're going to grab some weights. I'm using milk jugs today. They're empty, but you can fill them. And a grocery bag. You're going to fill your grocery bag with as many weights, groceries, cans, soups, milk, whatever you need to put in there. You're going to be doing an upright row, so it's a shoulder exercise. So put enough in there that you're going to feel some weight, especially if you only have soup cans as your light dumbbell weights for today. I'll give you a moment just to go grab that grocery bag, throw what you can in it, okay, and join me back in a couple minutes here. Let's get started. The H for happy. It's going to be two sets of 15 of squats. So grab your weights, dumbbells, soups, cans, water bottles, get a good grip on them, keep them close to your chest. I'm going to turn myself sideways so you can see my side profile of what's happening with my torso as well as my bum as we go into our first set of squats. Feet are wide apart, toes are pointed out, butt goes back and then it goes down. Keeping the chin and the chest up, breathe out as you push up. Breathe in, breathe out. You're going to do 15 of those. Take a 15 second break and repeat it. Moving on to the A for happy, we are going to do our first set of cardio. Your cardio today is one set of high knees and one set of butt kicks. You're going to count 15 on each leg. Okay, you can go at your own tempo, but remember this is cardio. We want to get our heart rate going. So you can have your hands out or you can use them along the sides of you. You're going to count 15. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. When you've done 15, you're going to do butt kicks. One, one, three, four, four. That's one set. You're going to repeat the high knees again. Okay, butt kicks again with counting to 15 on each leg. Moving on to the P. We have two P's. You're going to be doing this exercise double. Grab your mat. Grab a weight. Just put it down at the end of your mat. It's not essential what it is. It could be a pylon. It could be a roll of paper towel for all we need it for. You're going to line yourself up straight on your mat. No V of the body. So be right on top of that hip. Support yourself with your top arm. You're going to lift your legs up both at the same time and go over the weight back and forth. One, two, three, four, five, all the way to 15. You're going to feel it in your side oblique muscles here. Then you're going to roll over. You're going to do the same thing on this side. One, Two, three, four, five, all the way to 15. That's the first P. Roll back over. You're repeating the same thing on this side. 15. Back to this side. 4, 15 again. Okay, completing the word happy, we have the Y for cardio. We also have the E and the A that are vowels as well. So you have three sets of cardio in a row here. So you are going to be doing six sets of the high knees followed by butt kicks, 15 on, of each of them. So this will be the tough part of your cardio. Take a break if you need to in between the two sets, the two sets, and then the two sets again, if needed. Moving on to the S, bringing our heart rate down a little bit, we're going to go to the floor for some push-ups. Two sets of 15, okay, whether they're from your knees or your toes, make sure your tailbone is tucked in, hands are shoulder width apart or on the edge of your mat, okay, I don't want any bums up, so tuck that tailbone in, 
Full extension of bending of the elbows, back to full extension. Breathe in, breathe out. If you're on your toes, breathe in, breathe out. Take a break between the two sets if you need it. Okay, vary your hand positions if you'd like. Continuing on, we have the T. We're going to be doing upright rows. So grab your grocery bag, full of weights, full of groceries. Grab both handles, thumbs are together, feet are shoulder width apart. Keeping the bag close to your body, you're going to lift up, leading with the elbows, and lower. It's like zipping up your jacket, and pushing down dynamic. Please do not keep your elbows tucked in. Your wrists should not be higher than your elbows. So flare them out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two sets of 15. So completing our word Easter, we have the R. It's going to be a curtsy lunge with a lateral leg lift at the end of it. So position yourself so that you have lots of room to move sideways and you're not kicking the coffee table or the kitchen chair. You're going to take a step back and forward, lift. Back, 15 on each leg. So that was one and one. This is two, two. Take the leg back as far as you can, pushing off here to get you back and then add that leg lift. 15, two sets of 15. So guys, good work. Okay, hopefully you made it through it. Hopefully you got your heart rate going. That completes our happy Easter workout for today. We'll see you guys all on Wednesday. Thanks guys.